What's up, everybody? Wes and Tommy here with the ABT Youth Podcast, episode two. Tommy, you ready? I'm ready for episode two. Let's do it. Should we tell them about today's sponsor? Uh, who's today's sponsor? Today's sponsor is the Anchorage Baptist Temple. Ooh. If you haven't been to ABT lately, you haven't been. So go online, check us out at abt.com church for some online content you don't want to miss it you don't want to miss it not at all no tommy do you know what today is um let's see it's the month of may Mm -hmm. it's tuesday and it's it's also yeah it's tuesday it's a good day um we typically have a lot of meetings today typically typically i'm surprised we had a few extra minutes to record this that's very exactly it's true very surprising yeah today is may the fourth may the fourth May the 4th be with you. Isn't that a reference to something? Um, like orange juice, I think. Orange juice? Because no. isn't that what today's about? It's Just like orange juice or... May the f- May the orange juice be with you? I don't may think the orange juice be... I think it's a, I think it's a movie. I think it's a, I think it's a, um, I think it's called uh, Battlestar Galactica. No, no, no. It's Lord of the Rings. Lord, that's right. They yeah. use the force. Someone's going to hit us, like virtually. Probably. Over the head. <laughs> Yeah. May the 4th is National Star Wars Day. But, wow. Tommy, did you know it's actually also National Orange Juice Day? That's that's what I thought. And yes. it's National Renewal Day. Did you know that? Ooh, what am I renewing? Um, probably your membership to... Um, to the gym. To the gym. Yeah. LA Fitness. Because now we got to get big. Or the Alaska Club. That's too expensive. It's too expensive. Yeah, I'm not renewing that. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Oh, man. <laughs> it's National Renewal Day, National Orange Juice Day, Star Wars Day, and a few other things. But today, I think we're going to focus on just those three. Is, is, that, is that okay with you? That's fine with me. Okay, fine. Yeah. Well, I think to uh, kick today off, we need to observe National Orange Juice Day. Well, what is... How are we going to observe it? Bruh. Bruh. Bro. <laughs> we're going to drink some orange juice. We... Oh, my goodness. We got some... Signature Select 100% Premium Orange Juice. You would give me the one with a pulp in it. I got no pulp and with pulp. Are you a pulp guy? Uh, mm, eh, it's okay. Eh, mm, eh. I, why, why chew your orange juice when you can just drink it like a normal It's a person? drink. You're not supposed to chew it. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Should we pour some? We should pour some. I mean, you don't really have a cup, so I don't know right, how, how you're going to pour it. On. Let's just shake this pulp. I got some quick. water right here. Actually, should I pour it into here? It's probably not a good idea. That's gonna like water that. You're not gonna chug it, are you? Man, Tommy is currently chugging way too much water. While he does that, I'm gonna try to get this orange juice open. I love orange juice. It's so good. Do you hear that? Are you still chugging that thing? Man, I hope Tommy doesn't choke over there. Hey, Tommy, why the chicken cross the road? To get to ABT Youth. <laughs> 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 Dude, don't drown. That'd be bad. We're only two episodes <laughs> in. I just drowned, but no. I'm not even in water. We would just quit, right? Actually, I'll probably have to finish the episode. Yeah. You mm. can't just not finish the episode. Let's see what this room temperature orange juice tastes like. Room temperature. Can I not just uh, drink it straight out of the bottle? You can. You're going to have to chew it, though, because yours has all the pulp in it. <sighs> Yikes. This is really warm orange juice. Is it actually? Yeah. <laughs> I left in the fridge overnight and Uh-oh. it has warmed up. Dude, there's pulp on it. <laughs> uh, All right. There's a ton of pulp in here. <laughs> That's a milkshake right there. How is it? Um, Pulpy? Mm-hmm. All right, well, while you're drinking that, we're going to move on to the second portion of today's episode. Okay. And we're going to observe National Star Wars Day by playing... Some Star Wars trivia. Oh my goodness. How much do you know about Star Wars? Um, well, I know there's uh, like the Hobbit yep. who was in the movie yep. and he went and stole this ring. Someone's going um, some, someone's gonna to come come for you. you and then careful. after that, he hopped on the uh, uh, the one ship uh-huh. with like the blue light on it. And uh, it was a blue light. Uh, he had like, like the Hobbit and Yoda. Okay. I'm going to stop you right there. Because right. apparently you know nothing about Star Wars. So there's a chance for anyone listening to this podcast. Um, we're going to see who knows more. Tommy or the listeners? Listen, I have watched all three Star Wars movies. All three Star Wars movies? All three of them. What is the best Star Wars movie, Tommy? Mm. Please give us your opinion. <sighs> Probably like the uh, the Rogue the Rogue One. <laughs> the Rogue One? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what it's called, the Rogue One. Oh, the I'm Rogue One. Yeah, that's what yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Who's, uh, who's, who do you think is the, the best Star Wars character? Ooh. You were telling me the other day it was, it was Jar Jar Binks? Jar Jar Binks is pretty cool. He yeah. was my favorite. 
But now it's uh, 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 Darth Cynthia? Darth... Uh, Darth Cynthia? <laughs> Darth... <laughs> Darth uh, I've never heard Sidious. Of Darth, Darth Sidious. Sidious. That's what Cynthia is his sister, but yes, Darth Sidious. Yeah, That's yeah, a pretty yeah, good yeah. one. Yeah. All right, here we go. So Star Wars trivia. I'm going to read the question and offer uh, the answers to choose from. Play along. Keep score. Let's see what Tommy knows. All right, here we go. First question is, what color is Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber? Oh, 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 is it oh. green, blue, red, or yellow? Okay, listen, look, it's National Orange Juice Day. Yeah. And you're asking this question, mm -hmm. and there's no orange option. No. Nah. But yellow is the closest to orange. But I'm going to go with blue. You're going to go with blue? Yeah. All right, the correct answer is blue. Good job. Tommy's got one point. Oh, my goodness. I hope everyone else got that right. Probably not. Okay. Nobody's seen this What's going this to the next show one? before. Which side uses X-Wings? The dark side, the light side, or both? Well, you see, that's like not super dark. Uh -huh. And there's like red and, and white on it. So I'm actually going to go with light. Gotcha. Well, the correct answer is light. Oh, Good job, Tommy. Yo -ho -ho. Tommy has two points. Two points? I wonder what everyone else has. Probably two. Zero. All right, here's the next question. Okay. What is the species of small furry creatures from Endor called? Wookies, Gungans, Ewoks, <laughs> Or Tribbles. Okay, I actually may not. I think okay. Tribbles is what I feed my dogs. Probably. Tribbles and Bits. Okay, what the heck is a Gungan? It's a, it's a type of handgun, but instead of going and get <laughs> ammo again, I go and get my gun again. That's, that's <laughs> <not funny. Okay. laughs> See what I did there? That was kind of good. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am going to guess Wookiees. You know, Wookiees? Yeah, yeah. The correct answer is actually... Ewoks. Dude. Cute little teddy bears. I thought, although that picture makes them look kind of creepy. That does actually. It's like, you've seen, <laughs> the, have you seen those pictures where people Photoshop like human teeth on the animals? Yes. Like that's a cute little teddy bear with like some serious human eyeballs. That's very true. It's kind of scary. And it's got rabbit teeth. It's, it's, it, it's like it, the two big It's got a little gap right there. It does. Tony Hawk couldn't jump that gap. He's My probably goodness. drinking orange juice with pulp in Ooh, it. Oh yeah, he's chewing on it way too hard. Yeah. All right, next yeah. question. Tommy has two points. Out of a possible three, fourth question is this. What is the species of large furry creatures from Kashyyyk called? Wookies, Wookies Gungans, Ewoks, or Tribbles? Wookies. This one's Wookies. You're going with Wookies? Yeah. This Are you Wookies. sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Correct answer is Wookies. Let's go. Okay. What, what's that, your, he's like Chewbacca. That, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you make a Wookiee sound? <laughs> <laughs> good try. Good try. Look, I've only, I've never seen Star Wars before. All right. I'm just kidding. Second to last question. Okay. Who is considered the most hated character in the Star Wars franchise? Darth Raider, Young Anakin, Jar Jar Binks, or Aquaman? Which one will he choose, people? Yo, Darth, because his name's not Darth Raider. No, that, that was the other one. Darth it's like Vader. Darth, Darth Zader. Yeah. But, well, he's the cousin. Raider's the brother. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You know, honestly, just because he's not... I don't think he's actually in the movies. I'm going to go with Aquaman. You're going to go with Aquaman? Nobody likes Aquaman. Aquaman's okay. Oh, no, nobody from Star Wars he likes talk, Aquaman. He talks to the... Okay. The correct answer was Jar Jar Binks. Are you serious? People hate Jar Jar Binks. Wait, actually? Although, I'm pretty sure he's secretly the most powerful of all. Probably look at that tongue. That is a long tongue. That is a long tongue. I actually like, I actually really liked Jar Jar Binks as a kid. Some say that Jar Jar Binks was secretly, was that he was going to be one of the bad guys. Interesting. But because his character was so stupid, so dumb, that they couldn't do it or something like that. Because nobody Weird. liked him. I Anyways, see. Last question. Oh, last question. With a million points. Oh my goodness. Who is the black and red villain with the double-bladed lightsaber? Oh. Qui-Gon Jinn, Darth Maul, Darth Raider, or Thanos? So, Qui-Gon Jinn. You okay there? Yeah, that sounds like, something, sounds like something from Yu-Gi-Oh! Because of all the dashes in the name. Okay. Um, Darth Raider is still not Darth Vader, so it's probably not that one. Yeah. Thanos is from... Uh, uh, he's not from Lord of the Rings. Um, 
oh, what's that movie called? Um, Harry Potter. Oh yeah, that's right. Because he's he does the magical stuff with like stones. And yep. Right. Right. That's him. So I'm I'm gonna go with Darth Maul. Darth Maul. Because he has the two bladed lightsaber. Although this picture I have of him does not have the two two. That's not even saber. him then. It kind of is. No Darth Maul is the correct answer. Well, thanks. Yeah. Nice. Good job, Tommy. Thank you. So you got what? Four points. Four out of what? Six? six. Something like that. Hey, that's what is that a? Uh, a B. Ninety-six percent or a C. I don't think that's how percentages work. <laughs> no, how, well, that's how it works today, because it was Star Wars. That's terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. So we've, we've observed Orange Juice Day. We've observed National Star Wars Day. The last one we have was to observe National Renewal Day. Do you have any idea how to observe a renewal day? Um, uh, uh, no? Does well, that, does let that, me just tell you. Not, not to through taxes or anything? Tell me, do you even know how to do your taxes? Um, actually, I did them the other week. I'm so proud of you. You were in the office as I was doing them. You're such an adult now. I know. I'm so, growing up. I'm so proud. <laughs> okay, National Renewal Day, according to nationaldaycalendar.com, oh. says in order to observe National Renewal Day, you can do a few things. One, you can reconnect, contact friends, family, and former coworkers, strike up a conversation, and catch up. Or you can revive an old hobby. You could change your view, refresh your outlook, or they actually list renew your faith. Um, hmm. re recommitting yourself to spiritual care, prayer and meditation offers many rewards. I don't think this is a Christian website though. Is is renewing your faith uh, biblical, Tommy? Hmm. Mr. I do my Texas. <laughs> 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 um. I think it might depend on the context of what you're talking about uh -huh. with renewing your faith. Okay. Um, what about just renewal? Is renewal something that we see in the Bible, do you think? I think it is, actually. You know, it reminds me of uh, a little while ago, I was studying, is it Revelation 3? I'm pretty sure. For what? Uh, when Jesus is addressing the church of Ephesus. So Somewhere in there. It's either in Revelation 1 or 2, uh -huh. and the church of Ephesus, they had everything right. Their theology was on point. Um, their passion was uh, sort of there, but um, it's what other people saw. Um, they were doing a lot of things right, even from an outside perspective of what um, other people may see. But Jesus goes to them or addresses them in Revelation yeah. and says, you have lost your first love. Mm. And basically meaning to go back to your first love. Yeah. And uh, that actually happened to me a while ago where I was like just feeling dry in my faith and I had no motivation to really read my Bible yeah. and um, to connect with God. And I had no idea really what to do about it. So then I read this scripture in the book of Revelation and realized, man, what did I do when I first loved God? Hmm. And one thing, for example, would just be listening to worship music before I go to bed. Because so often, you know, we go to sleep watching just pointless YouTube videos or things that are not filling our minds with good stuff. And to go to bed resting in the Lord was just a practice I used to have that I didn't. And involving uh, practices like that from yeah. the time when I first loved God to now was really awesome. Because yeah. it just brought me back to the reason why I started to follow God in the first place. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, Revelations 2, mm, um, two. kind of the whole uh, verses 1 through 7. But verse 4 says, um, But I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Mm. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the works you did at first. If not, we'll come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. Right. So. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like when it's talking about doing the works that you did at first. Yeah is really where it got me and just thinking about what I used to do compared to now. Um, and yeah, I think this whole day from a Christian perspective of renewing your faith uh -huh. could totally involve that. I mean, if you're like in a dry season currently, like think about the things you did when you first loved God compared to now. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's crazy mm -hmm. um, because I, literally just talked to somebody about this mm. who out of nowhere, I didn't initiate this conversation, yeah. uh, this morning, a gentleman came up to me and said, Wes, have I told you about what the Lord told me uh, about mm. Revelations 2? And I was like, 
no, you, have, you haven't told me this. He said that he had a dream um, with a, a bunch of different details. I, I won't go into that. But it basically, it was a dream where someone was shouting at him, remember Revelations 2, verse 5. Whoa. I'm not, I'm not even making this up right now. Like, actually? Like, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. And, uh, hmm. and so he was, he was telling me that you know, he didn't remember what it was. And so when he woke up, he opened his Bible and he read it. And he said, basically, it's, hey, remember what you first did, mm -hmm. um, repent, uh, or else. And so uh -huh. it wasn't really meant to be like a, like a, you know, you have to, like a turn and burn kind of thing, mm -hmm. but like that the sin in your life is very serious. Yeah. Like you need to repent from it or else there are serious consequences that can come along with that. Right. I mean, that's nuts. I don't know Dang. if that's something for me or if that's something for you or someone listening today, but... Maybe. Listen, there's uh, there, there's there's power in in, in repentance. And there's mm -hmm. power in uh, you know uh, turning back and, and doing those things that that you first did yeah. when that that flame inside of you was was lit. Yeah. You know, I can think in in my own life, there's been times where kind of like what you said. You know, there's just like a staleness to your faith, mm -hmm. and you know, prayers prayers are are sent up. You know, God, will you just ignite that fire in me again? Mm -hmm. You know, and so it's like just renewing that strength and renewing that that passion that you had, you know, when you first became a Christian. Right. You know. Yeah. So anyone listening today that uh, you know is feeling stuck, they're feeling stale, or or like the fire they once had is is burning out. Um, perhaps there's some repentance that need, needs to be had, mm -hmm. um, or perhaps there's just uh, been a lot of tough seasons lately, and and we need to rely on the Lord to to renew our strength. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying so. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it is very crazy. That's God, a cool story. I didn't know about that. God God is just, he's crazy like that. Yeah, he is. That is, yeah. man. <laughs> well, the orange juice was lukewarm. You're terrible at Star Wars trivia. And <laughs> I feel like we just wrote a sermon right there. So <laughs> I think we did. <laughs> I feel like we should we should just call it a day and uh, just, just hit him with an outro real quick. Does that sound good to you? Sounds good to me. All right. Well, first off, we want to remind you guys to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we got a new video coming out this Friday and every Friday after that. Mm -hmm. So be sure to subscribe so you guys can get the latest content. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at abt.youth so you can be in the loop on everything that we're doing. Mm -hmm. But if you're in the Alaska area, go online, check us out at abt.church, our sponsor Ooh. for today's video. Um, you know, we would love to have you join us and be a part of what we're doing here uh, in Anchorage, Alaska. So with that being said, Tommy, you want to say anything? All I got to say is stay tuned for the video on Friday. It's the French fry challenge. And it's pretty awesome. Yo, I can't wait. Same. All right. We'll see you guys next time. This is Wes and Tommy with the ABT Youth Podcast. See ya. Peace.